In my other video, uh, I went through the motions of showing on how to display a temperature sensor using the Raspberry Pi with HTML5 and the uh, DS18B20 Dallas One Wire temperature sensor. Now that's nice to get just one uh, set of temperatures, but if you wanted to do any form of um, I don't know, advanced temperature monitoring, I would say, uh, you might need to have more than just one temperature sensor. So what I'm going to do is go through uh, quickly just to clarify which way you can do it to set it up. Again, this is the wiring section, and then what I'll do is I'll follow on with the... Um, the actual tutorial of how to build the certain elements to get uh, your individual temperature sensors. Now, as probably some people will know, I've got, um, I went out and actually bought the Dice One Wire temperature sensors uh, individually. They're, they're dirt cheap. I mean, you could, I, I can't remember how much I paid for these now, but it was less than uh, £5, um, $7 for 10 or something like that. Um, but once you've got those, all you need is a, a 7K sorry 47k resistor and that bridges the uh, the power line and your data line and you can run them in a, 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 in a series like this um, I'll, I'll put a, a clearer picture at the end because this is hard to do I'm using a, a tablet for the video so I haven't got very much zooming capability however you can also go out and buy the temperatures like this now the, these are these are great and I can't wait to use these in the uh, some form project. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with these. There is a guy who um, I think he's got a blog article about um, to monitoring for brewing of beer, which, uh, being an Englishman, is excellent for me. So, uh, and effectively, what you'll have to do if, if I'm not going to get all this messed up, with, uh, cables everywhere. Ultimately, at the, at the end, you've got all the wires. So, effectively, all these wires will represent almost the positioning of each of these sensors and so on and then the uh, 4.7k resistor at the end so that's the rough guide of how to wire it up it's, it's not all that difficult uh, what I will be doing is uh, with uh, well, the other videos showing the temperatures I've got um, a Raspberry Pi Model A uh, that I'm using for um, just home monitoring um, Wi-Fi um, little thing by Texi, um, that's his second plug so hopefully he'll recognise me and give me a plug back but uh, we'll see. And what I'll be doing is I'll just be uh, using a, a bit of a ribbon cable adaption and just plug it in like so and that'll be me all set up for doing it. Now I've covered the, the way to wire these up with the current GPIO pins so nothing's going to really change there there's just a, a different way you've got to manage uh, these individual sensors because they all have their unique identifier and there's something like over a trillion or in fact if there's probably even more I haven't even counted the numbers but you won't you won't need to worry about running into a duplicate put it that way so that covers the basic wiring the image at the end will cover the the close-up of that but again the um, 47k resistor goes across from the uh, your voltage in your 3.3 um, volts and your data line and and that's about it. Uh, well, hope that's useful and we'll see how it goes.